got something in my hand. I wonder if you can guess what it is. Can you guess what it is? There's five or six of them here. Can you guess what I've got in my hand? Would anybody like to guess balloons? Would you like to guess I have, I have balloons in my hand? Do you think I have balloons in my hand? I do. I have balloons in my hand. And so, this is what I want you to do. I want you to bounce this balloon up in the air for me. Will you do that? Would you bounce it? Would, 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 would you see if you could bounce that one for me? Just see if you could bounce that one for me. See if you could bounce that one for me. You blue or purple. You know, purple? See if you can bounce these for me. Why aren't they bouncing? They're what? They don't have any, they don't have any air in them, do they? That's true. But am I not on? You're not you're muted. Hello? Okay, you can hear me now. All right. The reason these won't bounce like they need to is they don't have any air in them. And you know what the pastor tried to do? He tried to blow it up when he was in the office. And so the pastor found out something wonderfully well. He's not full of hot air. Isn't that a great thing? But listen, this is a particular kind of balloon. You know what kind it is? It's a water balloon. So I want you to have these balloons when you get home, open them up and put them up with a faucet, tie it, and then find a friend that will let you just bust it over their head. <laughs> Make sure they'll let you do that. Don't get them mad at you, okay? But the problem with this balloon is that it's not filled up with air or with water, so it can't do what it's supposed to. Water. This is what this is what I know about my life. I know about you. This is what I know about my life is this. My life at one time was very empty. And I couldn't do what I needed to do. You know why? Because God had a special thing for me to do and I wasn't listening to God. And when I began to listen to Him and I asked Him to come into my life, you know what He did? The Bible says He filled me with the Holy Spirit. And now I get to do what I get to do to talk to children and talk to adults and teach them the Word of God. But I can't do that unless I have God in my life through Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, I'm sealed. I'm wrapped up in the Holy Spirit. That makes my life very exciting in everything I get to do. And you know what I want for you? I want your lives to be that exciting. So one day, Jesus is going to knock the door of your heart. And he's going to say, listen, I want to come in. And I want to make your life brand new. That's what he did for me. I was 17 years old when he made my life brand new. And I've been, been knowing God's love ever since then. And I don't want you to miss out on any of God's love. And so as you keep this balloon, remember your life is just empty as this balloon until you invite Jesus Christ into your life. Okay? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for these children. I thank you for these adults who also might be thinking about their life now as they understand that we have to have Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit in our life to do what it is you want us to do. And maybe they need to think about giving their life to Jesus today too. But Lord, I pray for these children that you'll have them in the right environment, that they'll experience uh, mom and dad to know how to pray and know how to worship and just know how to, to try to glorify God with their lives. So help these children have every opportunity I know you're going to give it to them, God. And so let them be ready. On that day, even if it could be today, they would say yes to Jesus with their life. We ask that in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. You may go back to your seats now.